Hey guys, Simon of Fortune here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sew chin straps onto your M1 helmet. Now basic sewing ability is required to do this. I'm not gonna be teaching you how to sew, I'm just showing you how to sew it onto your particular helmet. But if you're a reenactor already, you probably already know how to sew to begin with. So what you're gonna need is uh, your chin straps. Here I have some M1C chin straps. Uh, you're gonna need needle and thread. I like using lighter thread for a nice contrast. Uh, you're also gonna need a couple of safety pins uh, to help hold the chin strap in place when you're getting started, a measuring tape, and also a nice Sharpie or some other marking device. So since I'm doing an M1C chin strap, I'm gonna have to uh, leave some slack for the snap for the liner. Uh, if you're doing just a regular M1 chin strap, uh, this is just an extra step that you don't have to do. Here we're going to be sewing a loop uh, into the chin strap instead of just folding it over on itself. Uh, I didn't measure this right. I did on the first one, but not on the second one. Uh, you're gonna want to leave two inches after your fold or so to uh, allow enough slack to fit into the snap on the liner. And also note, I'm doing the left side chin strap. When you're wearing it, the J-hook should go on the left side. And uh, the, the flat part should go on the right. So uh, once you have it folded, if you're doing a regular chin strap, you're just gonna need to do it about an inch or so. Uh, fold it twice. Uh, but once you have it folded, you're just gonna uh, put your safety pins in here to secure it in place. And another one, just for some extra security. It should look something like that. And we have left enough room for our bale. If, you're, if you have swivel bales, you can put them on afterwards, but if you have fixed bales, you have to put uh, the chin strap on while it's on the actual helmet since you can't take the bales off. But uh, you're going to mark a small line uh, that you're going to sew over and you're going to want to try your best uh, on the other side to line it up in the same spot uh, in the same length. So once you have that done, uh, it should be pretty much identical on both sides. When you start, you're going to do the inner fold so that the little ball uh, on the end of your thread isn't visible. So you're just gonna push it in, pull it through, just like you're sewing a patch or something. And then uh, you're just gonna push it through again, this time all three layers. Uh, on the edge of that black line to try to cover it up. Might take you a couple tries, that's okay. Then you're just gonna pull it on through, just like you're sewing a patch. And then you're just gonna keep doing this over and over again. Uh, what I like to do is I like to try to make a border, sort of, uh, on the edge of the black line, just like that. Then you're just going to keep going at it. You're just going to keep doing your needle and thread over and over again right next to your last stitch. This is a pretty time consuming process. And if you have swivel bales, it makes it a lot easier because you don't have to fumble around with the helmet while you're doing it. And once you get, once you get it started and pretty secure, you can take the uh, clothespins out. Like I said, you're just gonna keep doing this over and over again. So here we have a uh, 
It's sturdy, but it's not quite finished. As you can see, you can still see a lot of the black through the thread, but you just want a good sturdy start, and then you can start making it look pretty. Now, once you have your structure and you're starting on making it look good, uh, you really want to get those uh, threads tight, tight together, so that as little of the black shows through as possible. It's a pretty time consuming process, so I tried to speed it up for you. But here is what we're calling our finished chin strap. Uh, if you're not trying to record yourself do it, then it'll look a lot better. Just take your time and you'll get good results. So now you're going to poke it through just that first layer there. Pull it tight. And that should be the last of the sewing you're going to have to do. You're just going to uh, tie it off just like you would when you're uh, sewing a patch on or making a repair. Tie it off, pull it tight, and then just trim the excess. Right, and that's a finished chin strap right there. So if you have swivel bales, uh, first you're going to take your swivel bale out of your helmet. It might be a little tricky, but you just need to take your swivel bale off your helmet, slide the chin strap back on and then you can just crimp the swivel bale back into place. Once you're done, you can throw your liner in there. It should snap in just fine. Now the other side that's actually correct, uh, snaps in just fine. And here you can see the finished result. It looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, just take your time, be patient, and it'll look great. So, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next episode of Simon of Fortune. God, dude, how much of this shit did you leave in?